The man who measured the speed of light in 1849 was a true genius. His name? Hippolyte Fizeau, a French physicist. Let's see how he did it. The key to his experiment was this, a special toothed wheel. Each tooth and each gap between the teeth was exactly the same size. So what was the point of that? We'll get to it in a second. First, he needed a light source, like a lamp or even a candle, anything that emits a steady beam. Then he placed a half-silvered mirror in front of the light. This mirror let some of the light pass through while reflecting the rest. He also placed a regular mirror several kilometers away, directly in front of the wheel. And now the experiment begins. When the light is turned on, the beam passes through the half-silvered mirror, goes through one of the gaps in the wheel, travels all the way to the distant mirror, bounces back, passes through the wheel again, and finally gets reflected into the viewer's eye by the half-silvered mirror. But here's the twist. When Faiso started spinning the wheel, the light began to flicker, because sometimes the returning light would pass through a gap, and sometimes it would hit a tooth and get blocked. And if he kept increasing the speed, eventually the light completely disappeared. And that's when things got really interesting. At that exact speed, the returning light was hitting the next tooth directly, meaning it was perfectly blocked. That moment was the breakthrough. Fizeau knew the wheel's rotation speed, how many teeth it had, and the distance to the mirror, eight kilometers away. So the round trip distance was 16 kilometers. The wheel had 720 teeth and 720 gaps and spun at 13 revolutions per second. That means each gap lasted one device divided by 18,720 seconds. Using that, he calculated the speed of light to be 299,520 kilometers per second. And that's incredibly close to the real value we know today.